Well, this, this is the big show for us in the UK uh, annually. I mean, what we're showing today is our electric bus technology on the stand. This is the first time we've had an electric bus uh, on our stand uh, in our history. Uh, we're also showing off today our new Metro City. This is our new bus for London, uh, a very competitive single deck offering, which you see to my right here. Uh, behind you we have our 11.7 meter Versabus, which again is another new product. Again, this is being targeted at very hard pressed operators at the moment that want lower weight, more fuel efficient buses with a higher capacity. And also behind that we have our new Benito. So we really are this year pushing the boat out with a whole new product lineup. This is the show for us. Uh, it's a great opportunity to meet all the key uh, decision makers in the industry. It very much is in everybody's diary and uh, it's an absolute uh, mustn't miss show for, for, for not only operators but for, for us the manufacturer as well. Talking of decision makers, obviously Norman Baker is here. Will you be hoping to actually bend his ear at any point today? Oh yeah, we've got a long-standing communication line with, with Norman. Norman actually opened our factory, our new factory in Sherburn in Elmer just a year ago. Uh, you know, that was another major investment that Opto has made in the future uh, of our manufacturing business. Uh, and well, we're constantly uh, feeding through to Norman our views and needs, if you like, for the industry moving forward. And certainly our very clear focus now moving forward is that electric technology is really the future of, of the uh, bus industry and uh, we're very focused and investing significantly in that. In fact, recently we were shortlisted, as you may know, for the Society of Motor Manufacturer and Traders prestigious Innovation Award for our fast charging 11 metre Versa bus uh, that went into service uh, earlier this year. So that really is very much the focus of our communication to Norman to say, look, you know, please continue through the Green Bus Initiative, supporting us, investing in this technology and getting operators to adopt uh, what we see is very much the future of the bus industry. Oh well, yeah, we, are, we always expect there to be orders placed at the stand or if not, continuing dialogue about potential tenders and contracts which we may see later turn into orders this year and early next year. Uh, certainly this time of year as well, all the major groups are sizing up their tenders and, and, and requirements for next year. So we'll see all the major groups here, the firsts, the go-aheads, the stagecoaches, etc. And they'll all be looking at, uh, at the product offerings around here and deciding what, what they're going to purchase for next year. So again, it's another focus point in the, in the calendar for all those people to come together and make their decisions. Well, I think next year will be a good year. I mean, obviously, Euro 6 is on the horizon, so many of the operators, I think, will probably be looking at perhaps pulling forward some of their demand for buses and maximising the, the Euro 5 product and their fleets. Euro 6, I think, is a big question mark for a lot of operators, a little uncertain of that technology at the moment, what it means for them, the cost, etc. Um, and I think maybe 2014, 15, maybe a challenging year or two for the industry because of the sort of uh, post uh, uh, Euro 5 uh, pre-buy. Um, we're very much gearing up to make sure that as a business we're in good shape for that with uh, export business. We've just picked and secured a major contract in South Africa. In fact, I'm flying from the show tonight to South Africa for a major press launch tomorrow, promoting our product across the whole of the African continent. So, uh, you know, we're out there uh, in, the, in, the, in the major markets with our new technology, with our low carbon technology, promoting that, recognizing that we have to, as a business, balance between UK and export. We can't simply be dependent on a UK market that from time to time may be, uh, may be challenging.